And now here we go. Seth Wright. Phenomenal semi-fungus. Probably the most exciting match of the tournament so far. Uh, Kyle Robbins from Orem, just a junior with a record of 27-10. He went undefeated in the 4A duels earlier this year. Seth Wright really going to try and, and cap off a great uh, career which he's had as he comes to us as a senior tonight. He's won his fair share of tournaments. He's already got a takedown and escape here early in the first round of this finals match. Wright comes from a great wrestling family down there in Payson. He has older brothers that are nationally ranked, still competing at Nebraska Ricks College. And, of course, we saw a lot of great matches between the Wrights and Payson over the years. And this is the youngest, Seth, the last of this great line of brothers that wrestled for Payson High School. Here he is in a good scramble on his feet. Nice counter in a position that could have got him in trouble. Trying to score that, that second takedown. Scores the first one. We'll get back with uh, Orem re-escaping with Robbins getting that escape in a 2-1 battle with a minute left in the first round. Oh, nice job. Nice job with kind of a simple drag. Scores the two, lets him go. Seth looks like he wants to work on his feet here for a while. Seth, an absolutely amazing wrestler on his feet in the semifinal match that we just mentioned. He was phenomenal on his feet. He seemed to be able to score at will on a wrestler who had beat him last year in the state finals, but He's going to avenge that loss tonight and get that title back, which he had earned a couple years ago. With the 4-2 lead, uh, Robbins with a great counter there, but too little too late. They're off the edge of the mat. They'll bring him back to the center. Ref starts him. Robbins with a little shot there. Robbins out of that great program at Orem under the direction of Cole Kelly. Good wrestling, good solid, classy wrestlers, uh, good on their feet. Robbins is doing a great job here battling. Seth's got a great deep shot. Robbins is locked up, almost to a locked up cradle situation. Looking to make something happen with a cradle. Locked up, didn't work, comes out, counters back. Seth changes that off, he cradles. He spins around, gets the two. Three takedowns now for Seth Wright, and that ends the first period. He's ahead 6-2 as we go into round two of this 125-pound championship. For the young wrestlers who are watching, you want to watch Seth Wright and what he did just right there. With short time on the clock, he was able to get another takedown, not having to give up an escape. So he's actually forced his lead out to four points as we start off the second round. You know, it's a good point. Too many times we're complacent to sit back with four, five, six seconds left in the round and kind of coast into that time. As you're watching through these finals, champions don't do that. Champions will get after it and score in those last couple of seconds. And a lot of times that's the difference between winning it and losing it, especially when you get to the top levels and both wrestlers are great wrestlers. Uh, one of the things I love about wrestling, Mark, is you get to the state championship and you're watching two good ones out here. You know that they didn't get there because nobody else was around. They got there because they battled and got through some great competition and ended up in this championship match. Seth's now doing a good job keeping a bar arm, working on a tight waist. Now he's trying to step off on that bar. Kyle's doing a good job bringing his hips up, spinning out, getting that one point. Now we got a 6-3 match and we're on our feet. Robin's doing a great job battling here against a good, tough, pacing wrestler. In on the single leg, trying to improve that. Wright's keeping that whizzer in. Good job with his balance. Look how he keeps the leg out. Not giving it up, not going away, not letting that leg come down underneath. Keeping that weight on the rest of the shoulder and the hip extended and away rather than letting that leg curl back under and giving up those points. That's a great job. In the last match, you saw Mellon from Payson, and now you see Wright from Payson. That goes to show what we talked about a little bit earlier tonight, how a good, strong wrestling room will often get wrestlers in similar weights to a final of the tournament, uh, the magnitude that this one is, especially the state championship, which seems to be what most wrestlers shoot for their entire life. Great counter there by Seth Wright. Uh, Robbins goes up to try and go to the head to dump him, but Wright just holding that wizard, trying to keep that leg straight. Now trying to tap and come around, and it seems like Wright just very, very in control on his feet. Great wrestlers, great athletes make the difficult things look easy. What you're seeing here on, Bart, on the part of both wrestlers is an excellent job of keeping the hips underneath and the legs wide and solid and not giving up position. So it's a good physical battle here for the last 30, 35 seconds and nobody scores the point. So we're going to round three. We got a 6-3 lead. Seth right ahead from Payson. And 
and he's uh, going to go down, going to battle from underneath position as we go to round three. That's an excellent point, Mike. You see how Wright was uh, countering there. But what I failed to mention was how tight uh, Robbins was holding on. It's often hard to hold on to a leg like that when you're being pushed on and pushed against and, and beat on for so long. And so a great job by Robbins, a very physical wrestler. Now he's working on an arm bar, uh, trying to maybe turn Seth Wright to his back. He turns him once, he's got those three points made up, and we're all tied up here in the third round. Wright goes to an elbow, tries to dump Robbins down, tries to spin out to the head, trying to uh, create some distance here. Here's another fine point that both wrestlers are doing well. They wrestle on their toes. You know, you don't see, uh, you don't see them on their knees, and they need to put the pressure. See, look at, look at uh, uh, Kyle Robbins working on his toes, spinning around. Wright coming right back on his toe, back in deep. No change yet. No change yet. Kyle Robbins still has it, although Seth's in on that single leg, trying to work. But we still have Robbins in control, so spending a lot of energy underneath there without scoring the point. Robbins looking to tie up, not lose that control. Call goes out of bounds. No change and back we go. Nope, one point, my bad. One point and the escape. Referee felt that enough work had been done on the part of the bottom man and there wasn't enough control that uh, one point was awarded as they went out of bounds there. So here we are on our feet. Once again into that battle. Oh, nice job, nice job by Kyle Robbins trying to step around, snap over. Countered once again by Seth Wright. Each giving as good as he gets, and each taking as good as he gives. 30 seconds left here in the third round. Seth right now with a beautiful takedown, now leads by six with short time left. Robin's going to have to perform some miraculous measures here to come back and win this match as he is down by a touchdown without the extra point. 14 seconds left, Wright just keeping great pressure on, keeping that arm tucked under. Makes it real hard to get an escape. With short time left, your 2003 state champ as time expires will be Seth Wright from Payson, finish on, finishing off a spectacular career for the Payson Lions. Finishes this year with a record of 32-2. Congratulations, Seth Wright.